All the focus is on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, as it is the biggest and best game of the month, and maybe even the entire year for some Nintendo fans. But that hasn't stopped other companies from announcing new Switch games, and that's why this week we've got eight new Switch announcements. Seven of them are brand new, one is a release date update, and we're even giving you a side course of three new NES games hitting the online service. Thank you, Zach. You know I am extra famished this week because I am starving <laughs> myself in preparation for Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate, so I appreciate that side course you are also going to give us. Yes, I'm cooking it up uh, Kirby style and bringing you a big smorgasbord of games. We're going to start off with two that were just announced, literally moments before this recording. It comes from SNK's press conference in Seoul, South Korea, uh, where they updated a lot of titles in development, including the King of Fighters 15, which is coming to Switch in 2020, and a brand new Metal Slug game. That Slug game, it has been slimy for many decades, and it's kind of crazy slash cool that we're getting a new one, and it'll be on Switch. Yeah, Metal Slug, one of the longest running franchises that I can think of. Uh, King of Fighters as well. I mean, there's 15 of them now for crying out loud. Yeah. Uh, 14 of them have been released. King of Fighters 15 coming sometime in 2020 to all platforms. Really cool to see some solidarity there. Uh, having SNK bring them over to PS4, uh, Nintendo, Switch, Xbox, and PC. That's going to be really cool. I actually like the King of Fighters game sex. Um, yeah. I-, I played them a lot in arcades growing up and on like PlayStation and stuff like that. So I'm actually a fan of that series, and I can't wait to see what that one's going to be like. Like the last King of Fighters game, it was in 2016, so it's been a few years now, a couple years. It'll be a mm-hmm. few years by the time this one comes out. I can't wait to see what they bring forth this time. Yes, and I wonder how the post-Smash Bros. Ultimate Fallout uh, will, what it'll feel like for other fighting games when their roster has 25 fighters, and you're like, geez. Well, the, no, this, no, SNK this always, feel like a uh, lot. King of Fighters always has bigger rosters because it, it they're not one-on-one battles for the most part. You have to, like, tag in. Right. Yeah, so, okay. so, so, so this was, one won't won't feel Yeah, like. they, okay. they've had giant rosters before, King of Fighters. Make no mistake about there it. There we go. Yeah. Well, perfect. This is the perfect post-Smash Brothers game. I mean, granted, it's at least... Two years later. You know, a year and a half away, <laughs> but yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll get there eventually. Hello, Neighbor. It's a very kind thing to say when you're out and about. Um, you can also play Hide and Seek with your neighbor or your family in Hello, Neighbor, Hide and Seek, which is coming to Switch... The same day as Smash Brothers, that seems to be a little bit of a dicey proposition, but this seems to be a dicey game, which deals with the tragic story of the neighbor's family in this dramatic prequel to Hello Neighbor. Experience playing a game of hide-and-seek with your brother as you deal with loss of a family member. Oh, man. You got some counter-programming going on here? You know how, like, when there's, like, a giant, like, big scary movie coming out or something, like, Disney will put something out, too? It's just, like, counter-programming? That's kind of mm-hmm. what this feels like here with like Smash being what it is and this game being what it is. I, I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to go towards Smash. I like Hello Neighbor for for, <laughs> for the reason it exists, I guess. But they're so expensive, $30, and, and this one is maintaining that, that same price point, which is a little bit weird. But I don't know. I might want to play this one. I like the original. Yeah, it's coming to other platforms as well. So nice again, as we always say, to see Nintendo Switch getting its own piece of the pie and just seems like a... Maybe a kind of somber affair. Hello Neighbor is so, so like happy on the surface and so dark underneath. Um, the same could be said for our release date update of Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. This game was announced in 2017 for Switch and it's finally coming out March 1st, 2019. It'll be on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. This is the fourth game in the uh, famed franchise. And I, I don't know, with, with characters like this, there has to be something kind of mysterious going on beneath beneath the, the, the front. Do you have an affinity for to- Toe Jam and Earl at all, or no? I have absolutely zero affinity for Toe Jam and Earl. I remember playing it on Virtual Console because uh, I wanted to know what this franchise is all about and being very confused as to why it had so much... It is a famed franchise. And, yeah. I mean, we're seeing co-op happening here on, on the trailer. Like, cool. I, I, like you, I have zero experience with Toe Jam and Earl. I, I know what it is just because, again, like, it, it's kind of become popular at least on a cult level all right yeah i mean it doesn't look like the greatest game but hey i mean it's popular for a reason i guess i would love a fusion between toe jam and earl and hello neighbor where you were accomplishing the hello neighbor gameplay with toe jam and earl characters why <laughs> that, that is the game that that we seek maybe not the game that we need but it's the one that that i desire i think this looks 
more up my alley. Super Treasure Arena will be coming to Switch on December 24th. Christmas Eve, you can't wait for Santa and all the sweet Switch gear that you'll be getting or gifting. You can play Super Treasure Arena. It's a unique mix of retro-inspired arcade action and objective-based arena shooters. Uh, local split screen for two to four players. There are four different characters, and it's top-down maps filled with angry monsters and shiny loot, lots of different crazy weapons, and lots of different crazy chaos as you try to uh, work together and compete with your friends. Are you ready for the two insane multiplayer modes, Zach? Are you going to enjoy those? Uh, you have to just hunt for the most coins possible locally or against your buddies via split screen. Okay, so so no online multiplayer, but I, I didn't expect Ryan. it to. No, I mean... There's a lot of games of this kind on Switch. I, I like primarily the fact that this is coming Christmas Eve. I think that's kind of a, a cute gesture. Um, it's already got on Steam for $7.99, and it has uh, pretty positive reviews. The game came out, though, I will alert you, uh, over two years ago. So this is not a new title. It's been on early access in Steam um, for a long time, but it does have <laughs> mostly positive reviews. Zach. And so it could be something worth checking out if you uh, find yourself with a few loved ones on Christmas Eve. Do you want me to tell you my favorite thing about this game? Yes, please. During the trailer, if you pause during the 45 second mark, <laughs> it says six different level, singular, not plural. Hey. So that's my hey. <laughs> Grammar mistakes hey. and trailers for the win. Hey. Six thrilling maps. Level. Six levels. Modes. Come on. This hey. is a very numbers focused. <laughs> I'm just so stuck on 74 Smash Bros. characters. All these numbers seem so small to me. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, a big number, though, is 2019, and this next game is coming out sometime in that year. It's called Brief Battles, a very fast-paced, underwear-fueled party game, Gabe. This, uh, this this game is made by Juicy Cupcake, and uh, you've got Sounds butts gross. and buns to squish those in your sights. You can grab super-powered underpants uh, to gain an edge over your friends as you try to prove who has the mightiest buns. Um, Okay. What's a, what, My question here is, what's a juicy cupcake? A juicy cupcake, one that has a lot of, a lot of filling in it. You ever had like a, a like a, I've it's never, got like you know like I think cream I've, filling or something. I've had like a cupcake like maybe twice in my life. Oh dang, we're gonna have to get you. We're gonna have to get you more of a cupcake connoisseur. We gotta expose you here. No, uh, you can also be exposed to powerful underwear like the toxic tidy whities, <laughs> buns of steel, flaming hot pants, uh, fifty <laughs> arenas as. <laughs> says, as you leap, wibble, and jiggle through 50 <laughs> vibrant arenas, <laughs> gather up to three friends and choose from a buttload of team and free-for-all modes. <laughs> there are, there's beasts, there's bosses, there's solo challenges. Oh, man, they're so clever with this copy. Good for them. Yeah, I had to, I had to let this, let this one squeeze out there because it's just such an interesting... <laughs> Such an interesting concept. I wonder if people would like find the things that I find funny as funny as I do. <laughs> uh, I, ho I hope so. Um, you want something a little more serious? Um, the developer Thunder Lotus Games, who made the game Jotun, uh, are bringing Sundered to Switch on December 21st. It is a replayable Metroidvania where you resist or embrace ancient eldritch powers. This game was released a while back on other platforms. It has a very unique art style, um, similar to the aforementioned Jotun. I know that when these games came out, they, there was like some uh, some hype and some some love for them. I didn't get into them all that much, uh, but certain outlets did really love uh, the like hand drawn, hand painted art style combined with the Metroidvania concept, combined with sort of the um, like unique themes that they uh, portrayed throughout the adventure. Yeah, well, Zach, if there's one thing that's missing on the Nintendo Switch, it's Metroidvania games. You know, we don't get yeah. those very often. You know, we never yeah. hear we never hear about them, especially not procedurally generated ones. So, okay. I mean, it, it, this is this is cool. I I I, I, didn't, I didn't play uh, Joe Ten, so so I don't I don't know their pedigree. I, I'm I'm sure I'm sure they're cool, but hey, you fight, die, and upgrade and repeat. Remind you of anything? Couple games on Switch. Mm, Mario. Mario. Yeah, that's Smash Brothers. Judge, <laughs> Jotun got eights and nines. Uh, Sunder got sevens and eights. So these aren't games to you know just scoff at. They did get very good reviews. I think they appeal to a specific audience yeah. given the art style um, and just given as you you know so sneakily alluded to the plethora of Metroidvania options available on the Switch and on other platforms. 
Um, but it's definitely a quality one and something that provides a, a completely different look. And they're really packing this month. I mean, we talk about how December 13th, my birthday has like so many games. Well, now the next week is starting to, to heat up as well. And there's a lot coming after Smash Brothers, uh, just leading up to Christmas and trying to provide you with a few moments of fun, steal some of your, your last second cash before uh, the seasons ring in and the year rings out. Next year, we'll also see our final game uh, of the list, which is called, and forgive me for pronunciation, Malkers or Malkiers, the interactive card game. What's cool about this is that it also includes uh, customizable physical cards that you connect via NFC and RFID technology. So you can upgrade your cards, level them up, and uh customize them and it will stay on the card so if you ever trade the card to someone else or allow them to use it they'll have sort of the history of the card the upgrades that's been made and and they they have this idea that um you know there are 250 some cards and each will sort of have its own story history legacy because it retains uh the, the progression as well as the just experience that you've put it through if you ever were to trade it or just i guess use it again yourself yeah, this is such a creative and novel idea, and it's so unique. It was a Kickstarter game, and, and you know it's happening. So this is honestly kind of cool. You and I both like uh, card games quite a bit. I, I kind of hope we can get our hands on this and, and maybe play it sometime. Two hundred and sixty-two yeah. playable cards. That's a decent number there to start things off with. I'm sure they can do expansions and stuff like that eventually. But hey, it does look cool. I, I'm always willing to give a good card game a chance. Absolutely. It has cross-play, which is also very nice um, if you can play you know, with your, your PC compatriots. And uh, you just scan the cards in the Joy-Con, which is, as you mentioned, pretty cool. Still waiting on Elder Scrolls Legends to hit Switch. Uh, really love an artifact, so if something really cool and more unique can come to Switch, uh, that could be pretty fun. And it's making the rounds lately on YouTube. I've seen some videos, so... Uh, we'll probably hear more soon. Okay, that's the end of the new games for Switch. There also are very old games uh, coming to Switch in the form of the NES titles that we see each month. Three coming soon. They are Ninja Gaiden, Wario's Woods, and Adventures of Lolo, and they'll all be added on December 12th, and uh, that sort of lines up with the NES wireless controllers that also uh, will be coming to, I guess they'll be coming to my house because I did order them with the online that's, service that's subscription. What, that's what I was going to ask you. Did you pre-order those? I did. And they're supposed to ship uh, same time frame as these these NES releases. Oh, okay. So so you'll have some super spiffy NES controllers coming up. Uh, clearly, the the one that stands out here is Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden however you care to pronounce it. That's a fun game. Right. If you like the messenger, this it's kind of like this, but more difficulty here uh with ninja gaiden you know have fun trying to get through this one but now that we have like save points and stuff through the nes online it, it might make it a little bit easier but yeah i'll jump into that one the same way i do did into metroid i'll play for a little bit and remember it and then be like okay cool thanks yes indeed so we uh have the library of nes games expanding slowly but surely <laughs> When will it expand to other platforms? That is a question for a later date. Right now, Gabe, I want you to tell me. I, I know it's Brief Battles, but I'm going to ask you anyways. Which okay. game are you most excited for on this list? <laughs> brief Battles. No, uh, King of Fighters 15, but that's, you know, so, so far away. So out of all of these, honestly, the one I'm likely to play is going to be Head on Neighbor Hide and Seek. And I'm not going to play it on launch day. We're going to be a little bit busy mm -hmm. that day doing <laughs> playing some little indie game coming out. I forget the name of it. But, yeah, Hello Neighbor's going to have to take a backseat, but eventually I'll get to it. Yes, indeed. Uh, for me, it's going to be... I like the look of this card game. I think it sort of furthers that fantasy, and I know some titles have tried it, and I think maybe not been all that successful of sort of the, like, card game come to life, like living out your, your Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon fantasy of <laughs> you are the these Seto, card games. You are the Seto Kaibo of Switch Wars. <laughs> There we go. Uh, great callback. Um, so, so if this can do it well and be fun, that could be really cool. Uh, it's always cool to have something to go and buy, like booster packs for and whatnot. And the fact that they're physical, I think, I don't know. If the game is good, it adds sort of an extra layer of fun and legitimacy to what you're playing, uh, which could be cool. So we'll stay tuned for that. Let us know if you're going to be picking up any of these games in the comments down below, if you find any of them fun or appealing. As we mentioned, Smash Brothers is the star of this week. Uh, and this month, but 
there still is stuff that we need to share and talk about. And that is your list for the week. Until next time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day for myself and Gabe. Switch Force out.